Aries, hello, it's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. Excuse me, this is going to be your general love reading for March 3rd of 2022. It's good to see you guys. I hope all is well with you, your pets and your loved ones, and welcome to Miss Hawaii to Row. Check out the description box below. It's a lot of information there as far as how to book a personal reading with me, all of my social media information. You'll also find a link to the membership page if you would like to become a member of this channel. And there's also an extended reading link for this reading if you would like to purchase it. <clears throat> mm. Hold on, y'all. Um, yeah, extended reading, social media, all that information is below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. And you can click the little notification bell below if you're interested in receiving alerts from this channel, like notifying you anytime I go live or post a new Aries reading. Okay, so let's get right into it. Let's see here what's going on with my Aries. How are you guys feeling towards the person you're dealing with in love? How are you currently feeling, Aries, towards the person you're dealing with in love? Or the person you're thinking about in love? We got the tower here in reverse. Scorpio energy there. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. The page of swords in reverse. You could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. How else does Aries feel towards the person they're dealing with? The sun, most positive card in the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. One more card for how Aries is feeling in love. The world, closing out a cycle. Let's look at your person. How does your person feel about you currently in love, Aries? The Nine of Cups. The Two of Swords. Mm. A few cards tried to pop out there. The Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Page of Wands in reverse tried to pop out. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two more cards, please, for how this person feels about Aries. Death. One more card, please, for how this person feels about Aries. The Six of Pentacles. And the mutual energy between the two of you is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Well, this is interesting energy. Um... Why are you both hinting at it being in, it ending? You got the world. They got the death card. But you're getting the tower in reverse. Like you are kind of like not wanting it to end. But you got the sun here. The sun is about illumination, about seeing things for what it really is. So I feel like you are able to really see what this relationship is, where it's going. I feel like it's been revealed. Like the sun card is about something shining through to you through the sun so you're able to see it maybe things you couldn't see before your person is trying to make a decision with the two of swords here is this bringing them happiness or not they got the death card with the six of pentacles your overall energy is the king of pentacles in reverse so do either of you actually want a relationship i see some cynicism here from you is that even a word cynicism i believe so Three of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, and Magician in reverse. Somebody's repressing some emotions. Emotion. Sometimes the Ace of Cups in reverse is somebody holding back their emotions. Somebody repressing them. It could mean emotional blockage. But the Page of Swords is in reverse. This is crazy. 
let's go ahead and clarify here because the king of pentacles in reverse is the overall energy is like instability instability between the two of you and it's your mutual energy so you both feel the same way sometimes the king of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's not ready to be in a commitment it could be somebody who's more focused on their money on their career they don't have the time to give to a relationship right now but you're both pulling energy of it like ending death card the world here let's go ahead and clarify don't forget personal readings you can email miss hawaii readings at gmail.com if you're interested i got bombarded this week with personal readings so if i haven't responded to your email yet just give me some time Ooh, ooh, okay what flew out the six of pentacles with the ten of wands in reverse And if you're interested in purchasing the extended reading for this read, the link is below where I will do a full spread on your person in the extended. And I'll also pull you some advice cards and see what future action actions this person will be taking moving forward towards you in the future. Okay, let's go ahead and see the tower. The cards are popping here. So this is pretty powerful. Show me the tower in reverse. The two of cups in reverse. You see what I'm saying? There's like some distance here between you and this person ten of cups in reverse this kind of feels like this kind of feels like holding on to something or not really wanting something to end that's why the tower card is in reverse that's what the tower card in reverse sorry my microphone cord was in the way sometimes that's what the tower in reverse represents like not really wanting a tower to come down between you and somebody so you're just kind of like prolonging it but there's distance between the two of you two of cups in reverse there's like some disharmony here show me the page of swords in reverse somebody be spying too the five of pentacles in reverse with the six of swords yeah i feel like you want to be on peaceful calm waters with this person but i'm seeing arguments for some of you what just popped out here the two of wands just threw itself out there. So you could be at a crossroads right now trying to decide what you want. I feel like you both are. Show me the sun. I feel like this person with the nine of cups here on their side, you give them wish fulfillment, but it's next to the two of swords. So there's a decision here. Does this make me happy? Show me the sun. The five of wands. So we're seeing conflict. We're seeing fighting. We're seeing an internal struggle with you. To see the truth, I just heard an internal struggle seeing the truth. And you got the nine of wands here on the bottom. Wounded energy. Show me the world here. Some of you have been dealing with this person for a while. Because the world can mean like either a long distance relationship or it could just mean a long cycle. Because it is the last card of the major arcana. Show me the world card here. The devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. With the strength card on the bottom here. Leo energy there. Strength. This has been a lot for you. You've been holding it together though, but the devil in reverse can sometimes mean, you know, getting out of a toxic relationship or something that's just been unhealthy. Show me the nine of cups. The seven of cups. Your person here is trying to decide what they want to do see chariot cancer energy that's an energy about moving forward but i feel like they don't know if they want to look at other options with the seven of cups here or if they're happy where they're at just like i said to you two with the two of swords next to it that's about some choices show me the two of swords the hierophant taurus energy there with the chariot here again this person is trying to decide here is is Aries the person I want to be with forever? Is Aries the person I have a spiritual connection with? Is Aries the person I want to marry? They're relying on spirituality for some of you. They could even be going to somebody, like maybe seeing a tower reader, or they could be um, going to see, like, talk to somebody. Because the Hierophant is usually somebody who's like a higher up, somebody who's very, um, has a lot of wisdom, kind of, kind of like the hermit, but in real life. If that makes sense so for some of you they could be talking to somebody older than them or somebody very wise trying to get you know advice show me the death card the seven of wands 
with the king of swords here on the bottom here hmm the seven of wands is a very defensive energy it's a very protective guarded energy show me this six of pentacles the ace of cups mm. with the ace of wands here on the bottom Two of swords in reverse, the lovers in reverse. Yeah, you and this person are definitely not on the same page. Um, I'm seeing fighting, I'm seeing drama, I'm seeing conflict, I'm seeing, but this can be within. It doesn't have to necessarily mean the two of you fighting. It can just mean internal conflict with you, trying to figure out what to do. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you're... I feel like you're half and half. I feel like both of you are. I feel like both of you are kind of like, you want this, but then you're not sure if you want this. That's why you got the tower in reverse. But then you also have this world energy about closing out a cycle. For some of you, your person could actually be talking to new, to other people. That's not going to apply for everybody. But for some of you, yeah, they could actually be talking to other people. Like, especially if it's been over between you and them. Let's go ahead and look from another deck. Interesting. How does Aries feel about this person? How does Aries feel about this person that they're dealing with in love? Two of swords in reverse. Three of wands in reverse. temperance in reverse some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius I see stress I see frustration page of Pentacles in reverse some of y'all dealing with a Taurus a Virgo Capricorn how does your person feel towards you ten of Pentacles seeing finances this person is thinking a lot about the future and money. King of Wands. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. The mutual energy is the two of wands in reverse between the two of you. So again, with this stuck energy, I feel like your person, there's definitely attraction here with the king of wands here and your person, I feel like they could see long-term with you here with the 10 of pentacles here next to this. But why is the three of pentacles in reverse next to the seven of swords in reverse? Did something happen with the third party? Why is the two of swords in reverse? the king of cups you love this person so it's hard for you to see things here three of wands in reverse 
the ace of cups you you're you're kind of like you got strong feelings for this person king of cups ace of cups you got strong feelings for them it's hard for you to move on even if y'all broke up already it's hard for you to have new love you're stuck show me the temperance in reverse the eight of swords in reverse You don't want this person to be free. Show me the page of pentacles in reverse. The hangman. Didn't I say stuck? Stuck energy. Hangman. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. Show me the ten of pentacles. The six of wands in reverse. Why does your person feel like this connection isn't working? It's not. It's failing. Show me the king of wands. The five of pentacles in reverse with the devil in reverse. So there we go again, Capricorn energy. We're seeing that devil energy in reverse. Three of pentacles in reverse. The seven of swords here again in reverse. There's some deceptive energy here. Clarify the seven of swords in reverse. The knight of swords. But then you got the Eight of Cups here in reverse on the bottom. You and this person are so confusing. Because I see you still love them and I see you stress about the situation. You in hangman mode. You're trying to figure things out. Your person seems distracted to you. You don't like that. And then them, they're feeling like you guys tried. It didn't work or it's not working. They're trying to keep their confidence. They're trying to stay strong in this. But seven of swords in reverse is here twice on top of the three of pentacles in reverse. The lovers in reverse here. Again, ten of wands in reverse. Six of wands. Strength in reverse. Tower in reverse. It's the same energy. It's like you and this person, I'm seeing disharmony between the two of you. But I feel like the two of you are like still trying to keep this going because i see you you have a lot of love for them maybe some of you have tried to have feelings for other people but you can't there's some deceptive energy on their side with the seven of swords coming out here twice Some of y'all dealing with another fire sign, whether it's another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing air energy here, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Show me this 10 of Pentacles with the six of wands in reverse. Why is that here? The page of cups in reverse. Somebody here is emotionally immature. Show me the, the king of wands with the five of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that here? The King of Wands in reverse. What the fuck? I told you, your person be flip-flopping a little bit. Show me the Seven of Swords in reverse with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Swords in reverse. Show me the King, the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Swords. Look at all this stress here. Y'all both got a lot of stress attached to this connection. I feel like y'all are both stuck. I feel like there's a lot of disharmony between the two of you. I see you still have a lot of love for them. I feel like the two of y'all need to seriously communicate. Like y'all need to love aside. Y'all need to seriously sit down. And really see here what the two of you really want. Because I see you in hangman mode. You're thinking a lot. Because the hangman mode is about looking at things from a different perspective or a different view that you haven't previously been looking at it. But you got the ace of cups here with the king of cups. You got a lot of love here. This person is really in your heart space and that's why you're stuck. And some of you, you're being blinded by love. <clears throat> 
because you love this person so much or you're, you're so emotionally invested, it's hard for you to really see things as they really are. That's why you got the five of wands on top of the sun card because it's, uh, it's an internal battle for you to be able to see the sun, to be able to see here, there's some strong disharmony here between the two of you. No matter how much you love somebody, there needs to be harmony between the two of you. And I'm seeing stress. For some of you, I'm seeing a third party situation. I'm seeing the two of you trying and your person feeling like it's not working. So something has to change. Something has to change. So let's go into the extended reading now. We're going to do a full spread on your person. We'll see more about how they feel about you, what future actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And then I'll go ahead and pull you some advice oracle cards to see what the universe feels like you should do in regards to this person. All right, Aries, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, see you next time. Bye.